daytime or daytime offset? That's such a common question in the .NET space. Which one should I use? Microsoft has picked his favorite, and it will tell you that daytime offset is the default approach on daytimes. Does that mean that daytime is dead? No, there's use cases for it. Stay till the end because we'll be looking into daytime and daytime offset to see the differences, and that way you can be sure when to choose one or the other one. So what is the difference between a daytime and a daytime offset? So imagine that you have two guys starting to meditate at exactly the same time according to UTC. But since we have multiple time zones, one of them may be on a time zone where it's still dark and the other one is meditating during the day. So with the daytime offset, you can capture that difference. You not only know that they started at that time according to UTC, but also you know that there was this difference that made one starting during the night and the other one during the day. If knowing that is important to you, daytime offset likely will be the thing that you are looking for. So let's take a look into two different scenarios to see when to use a daytime or when to use a daytime offset. Let's start by the offset. To do that, let's imagine the following scenario. Imagine that you have a service that is responsible to observe all the alerts coming through the system. And based on a simple rule, like if it's after midnight and before 9 a.m., let's call the person on call to take a look into this thing. This will be the date of our alert that you will parse into a daytime. This will get me uh, on the alert with this date. But since I'm not saying which time zone I have, let's see what happens. Since on the alert I have a daytime, what will happen is that I can access this kind, and this kind can have one of three values. Okay, so in this case, let's see, it should be a daytime kind local. Because I'm not saying that this thing is a UTC or whatever, so it will assume that it's a local time. As you can see, the daytime can only be local, unspecified, or UTC. That means that I can only look into a daytime in three perspectives. One of them is, I'm sure that this thing is UTC. The other one is, this thing is the local time of my machine, the machine where it's running, or unspecified basically means that I don't know. I don't know what this is. So let's run this test to see what happens. So as you can see, I have a green one, so success. So that means that this kind is in local time. So if it's in local time, which time should this thing be? So let's let's take a look. And as you can see here on the date, it is telling me that the local time is 2 a.m. But this is strange, right? Because if you look into the date, you know that I have an offset of minus 2. So this will lead me to the next day, right? So now I'm on the 21 at midnight. Then you need to go one further and you are at 1 a.m. So why this thing is showing me that it's 2 a.m.? When I pick this thing and I parse it, it will first go to the 1 a.m. And now since I'm working with the local time, I'm not saying that I want the UTC, what will happen is that I will get the offset of my current time zone that is summing one hour to that thing. It's because of all these messy things around date times that is a good practice to work with UTC only. What you will be doing is basically on the entry of that API, you will be defining that you will be using UTC from now on and everything that happens inside of that thing, even on the database, will be working with UTC. So let's do that. Let's try to parse it already as UTC. Okay, so I will keep using my culture and I will say here that I'm working with universal time. So now let's see what happens. This time this should be UTC, right? So let's run the test. And now what I expect is that on my alerts, the hour should be one, and it is. Now I'm working with UTC according to that good practice. But now let's think about our goal on this method. So our idea is that we will call this on call, provide the alert. And our goal is that if it's between midnight and 9 a.m., we should call the person on call. So that it's as simple as just doing the alert.date.hour. And if it's before 9 a.m., let's call that person. But the problem is, is that on this case, I'm focusing on the UTC hour. But usually this kind of on-call thing will happen based on the time zone where the person is located. Because if that team is working from 9 to midnight, that means that someone will be wake up at, during that time, but on that time zone, not according to UTC. For example, they can be working on a minus 7 and this will not match. 
So how, how can you handle that? Unfortunately, with daytime, you can't do that because, as you remember, you can only know if the daytime kind is UTC or local. But that local is the local of that machine. If this is a server running somewhere on a company that has multiple time zones, multiple teams across time zones, how can you do that? And the solution to that can be the time offset. Let's refactor this thing to use the daytime offset. So let's go here, convert this into the daytime offset. There's no kind on daytime offset. So let's remove this. That let's convert this into a daytime offset. And let's just remove this from here because I don't want to force this to be working with UTC. I want to preserve the culture of the alert that I'm receiving. So this minus two has a value to me. And since this state that I'm receiving is at 2346 at local time, okay, in a time zone with a gap of minus two, that means that according to my rules, I should not wake up anyone. So this time, okay, my alert thought that will not be one. So let's just remove this thing from here now. And what I want to understand is if I will need to wake up someone. So what I expect is that since it's 23, it should be false. So let's run it once again. And it's false indeed, because now I know that this is on a time zone with minus two. So let's say that instead of 23, this is midnight 46, and let's run the test again. This time it fails, because it's already midnight on, on this case. It doesn't matter the time zone, let's say. So let's get back here to the 23, because now you may be asking a different question like, on that case, how do I know which time it is on UTC? And you can do it as well with the time offset, because remember, the date time offset not only stores the date and the time, but also this offset that will let you get that UTC date. So this time we can go here and say, okay, according to my local time, that is the value that is stored here now, it's 23. And according to the universal time, it's 1 a.m. And as you can see, it's true. What I want you to know is that the date time offset is really valuable when you, you need that context of which time it was, in fact, in the clock on the moment that someone was doing something or something happened. So if one day you may need the access to that time zone, to that offset, daytime offset is the way to go. That's why Microsoft is saying that this is the default approach, because if you don't have this offset, it's really difficult to get back to it. Important note, by the fact that I have the offset of minus two, in fact, I don't know on which time zone this is. So besides the offset, sometimes you will need to store also the time zone in case you need it. If Microsoft recommends the default path being daytime offset, when daytime is the obvious solution. Let me give you an example. Imagine the following scenario. Imagine that you define an alert for every single day between the 20 and 26th of October, and you want that alert to happen at 8 a.m., okay? Let's say that this is an alert for wake up. Okay, you want to wake up every single day between this period at 8 a.m. Now let's imagine that your country has daylight saving time and the hour will be plus one from the 24 going forward. What should happen? Should you wake up now at seven? I define it that I want to wake up every single day at 8 a.m. And that doesn't matter for me if the, the schedule is changing or not. For example, if I travel here to a different time zone, do I want to keep waking up at 8 a.m.? Or if I have an offset of plus 4, I should wake up at 4 a.m.? So the basic idea here is quite simple. is If somehow you know that you will need the offset to know the time zone, if you will need to localize the time based on the time zone when it was created or when it will be, daytime offset is the thing that you are looking for. If you can be sure that UTC will be more than enough forever for you, daytime can be a good solution. That's why Microsoft is saying that by default, you should go with daytime offset. I know that these daytime things can be really tricky. So there's this cool video that I bet that you will like. I will see you soon. In the meanwhile, just keep things simple.